that was not my fault. When something goes wrong, people blame the parent. Well, that's crap. A bad father lets his son be a wussy. Oh, Johnny got a boo-boo? Well, let me buy you some panties. Daddy, 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 look how high I can climb! Yeah, yeah, I see you. You look amazing. Ow. You're his teacher. You're supposed to be watching him instead of pointing at me with that sweater. Kids are stupid, especially your own. You'd think that the sperm would transfer some intelligence to the egg, but no, you have to teach him everything. Don't adjust the fan belt with the motor running. Hey, Dad, look! A Dairy Queen! Uh, can we stop and get a dilly bar? Don't yank it out! You might warp it. I need to put it back in the car. <laughs> I know, I spoiled it. Huh? My boy on national television. <laughs> that can't be as bad as it looks. Mr. Titus, your son is brain dead. The machines are keeping him alive. You have to decide whether you want to keep him on life support or not. I'm sorry. Excuse me. Oh, my God. Hey, why the long faces? The vending machines have you ho <laughs> Damn. Oh, no, no, they're made with real chocolate now. <laughs> Dad, are you okay? No parent should have to see his child die. It's not right. Don't take him. I'm the one who drinks and smokes and eats pork rinds. What do I gotta do? Take me! In a minute. <laughs> No, you can't slap him around a little and wake him up. <laughs> He's brain dead. That is what happens to people who drive their cars at 200 miles per hour. 260, Doc. He was boss of the strip. <laughs> I'll leave you to your grief. <laughs> Mr. Titus, what are we going to do? Ah, uh, hell. There's only one thing we can do. Move him to another hospital. These guys just want to harvest his organs. <laughs> Dave, look. In Mexico, they get tourists drunk and cut out their spleens. They do it every fall. It's called El Dios de Spleños. <laughs> Shut up. Guys, we're gonna have to pull the plug. What? Oh my God, you're working for the spleen farmers. <laughs> Mr. Titus, don't you think you should take some time to think about it? Maybe like an entire minute? This is what he wanted. Oh, uh, quanto questo and kidney, papa? <laughs> Death. Talk about it with your kids. Okay, Dad, I promise if you're ever a vegetable, I'll unplug you. Thanks, son. And I'll unplug you, too. Okay, Father, I will honor your wishes. And I'll smother you with a pillow, son. <laughs> Only if I'm a vegetable, right? If, I, if I'm high, you know, just let me sleep. I need to ask you something. Unplug you. Yeah. Unplug me, too. Hell yeah. <laughs> yeah. Talk about it with your friends, kids, too. Wait, don't we have a say? Dave's his brother, and I'm his special friend. I know. It took two paramedics to stop you from giving him mouth to mouth. You think I'm gay? You think I'm gay? Say it again and I'll kill you. I think you're gay. Well, you know what? I think you're gay. <laughs> All the children and marriages you've had, they're just cover-ups. Huh? How's it feel? You big gay! <laughs> I'm so sorry, it's the grief talking. When something is this sad, we're all a little gay. <laughs> 
Tommy's not a fruit, but he hangs out in the orchard. <laughs> He's not a fruit because I keep calling him a fruit, which makes him suppress his fruit-like tendencies. It takes a village to raise a straight kid. <laughs> Off. Sorry. <laughs> Mr. Titus, forget what's logical right now and try to focus on what's good and nice, you fat, ugly drunk. <laughs> It's the grief. <laughs> Maybe Titus did say that, but people in comas, they don't know what they're saying. I bet if you asked him now, all he'd say is, <laughs> And who are we to argue with Bakush? I got this one, son. Dave! <laughs> It's not the same. <laughs> Listen up, idiots. This is what he wanted. Pulling the plug is the right thing to do. <laughs> we have to tell Aaron. Well, go tell her. I need to talk to you, but not in there. I'm not coming out. <laughs> How are you doing? He'll know that I let go. I've been holding his hand for seven hours. Do you have a power bar or something? I'm starving. Honey, I've got some bad news. Really? The man I love is breathing through a machine. What's your bad news? <laughs> Stop that, or we're gonna have to pull the plug on you, too. What? Nothing. No, he's fine. Yeah, except he's brain dead. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> I've loved a lot of women, but Erin is the only woman I ever liked. She broke her leg, not running from a burglar, but chasing one. She's a keeper. Someone you could spend six or seven years of your life with. <laughs> well, I'm his father. Well, I'm his fiance. Uh, hi. I just wanted to ask you before you make the decision, would you like Christopher to be an organ donor? Aha! Come on, star cell, doctore! We are not pulling the plug. Miracles happen. Miracles never happen, hun. We are pulling the plug. So you made the decision? Yes. No! Yes! No! Yes! No! Dave! <laughs> it's not the same. Godspeed, tiny captain. Oh, Dave, just get away from him, all of you. Christopher is strong. He's going to pull through this. Hey, maybe Mr. Titus is right. He's in pretty bad shape. Shut up, panty waist. <laughs> He'll get through this. You guys don't know him. Aaron, honey. No, Aaron, honey, me. Listen, none of you know Christopher, okay? Christopher is resilient. He's a fighter. Quiet. He's Listen. He's that now. That's Christopher now. <laughs> Bakush! <laughs> okay, God. I'm willing to give up everything to get my son back. Here, no more beer. <laughs> Beer's gone. Cigarette? Cigarette's gone. Your turn. Okay, I tried. I love him so much. I love him, too. What? I'm not capable of love? I'm capable of love! She! Christopher. Christopher. I know this isn't you anymore. But I know that you're somewhere where you can hear me. Goodbye, Christopher. 
I love you. <laughs> You're supposed to wake up! <laughs> I don't believe this. Titus? Goodbye, my brother. <laughs> hey, pal. Thanks for making me a man. <laughs> you know, before you, I thought my jazz dance class was the place to be free. <laughs> like, a, like a blue jay. <laughs> but you, you taught me it was a place I could go and pick up chicks. <laughs> Give me some. <laughs> You were a great friend. That was beautiful. Drop the hand. Oh. <laughs> well. No! He's my brother. I'm pulling the plug. No! <laughs> it's not an actual plug. <laughs> You folks don't have to stay. No, 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 no. We're, we're gonna be with him until he kicks. <laughs> Bites off. <laughs> Starts to rot. Okay. <laughs> Doc. patient is taken off light support, the shock sometimes kicks the brain back on, but I thought they were just screwing with us. Pretty wicked cool. <laughs> He's gonna wake up. He's gonna wake up. Not necessarily, but probably. <laughs> well, quick, plug him back in. If he finds out we unplugged him, he's gonna be pissed. <laughs> Titus, Dave didn't unplug you, no. Welcome back, honey. I knew you wouldn't leave. <laughs> I got my boy back. <laughs> Like I always say, miracles can happen. I said that. Get away from him. No, 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 wait. Take a good, long, last look at him, because when he wakes up, you are out of his life forever. Titus, say goodbye to Dad. <laughs> I told you to get out of here, you bastard. Uh, you're a woman. I thought you changed your mind. <laughs> this is all your fault. Well, look, I just richened the fuel mixture to help him win a race. Not the accident, you motard. <laughs> Christopher is always pushing himself to get your approval, which he never gets. So he continues to push himself to get your approval, which he never gets. So he continues to... Do you see where I'm going here? <laughs> Motard. Oh. All right, all right. I am the only reason that you two have a relationship. And you know what? I'm done. You go, you stay. I don't care. Fine, I'll stay. Go! Yeah, see, you changed your mind. Now who's the Motard?
hey, hey. Don't blame me. If I hadn't pulled the plug on him, he'd be dead. I taught him how to survive. <laughs> you taught him how to swim by chucking him in a lake. You, you taught him how to not stick his finger in a light socket by letting him stick his finger in a light socket. So he knows not to swim with a hairdryer. I was teaching him. You let a car fall on him. I still don't know what that taught him. Cars are heavy. Everybody knows that. So does he, thanks to me. All you have done is put his ass on the line. You tell me one time you put your ass on the line for him. You don't think I got anything, do you? I kidnapped him. You get married, you have a kid, you sleep around on the mother of that kid. It's in the Bible. And just like Moses' mom, that bitch sent my kid off to live with his grandparents in Detroit. All the while, drinking up my child support checks. And nobody drinks on my money but me. And nobody raises my kid but me. Another scotch. Thanks, Earl. So I flew to Detroit to get my boy. And I didn't even hit on one stewardess. You are a heartbreaker, Big T. It's in the jeans, Earl. In the jeans. <laughs> that's how I'm kidnapping my little boy. I dare those dumbass Michigan cops to try and catch me. I'm from California. So what do you do? I'm the Detroit Metro District Attorney. Committing a felony to the man who's gonna prosecute you makes your butt clench. Never underestimate the power of bitterness or the power of a district attorney's ex-wife taking his house, his kids, and his boat. I hear that. Preach, Big T. I'll tell you how to get your kid back, and that bitch can't do anything about it. Sleep in the car and let him live in my house. That whore didn't even hey, have the hey, 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 hey. This is not about your divorce. It's about my kid. Both of you losers, shut up. I'm trying to sleep. Do it, do it. Hey, I'm the Detroit metric disco attorney of Detroit, and you, ma'am, have the right to remain... Ugly! <laughs> okay, I was drinking a little, but I was kidnapping my kid. All right, I was drunk. It's not like I was flying the plane. Not like I didn't try. Daddy! Hey, boy! Grandma and Grandpa say you're whore-loving drunk. No offense, but woof! I just want to take him out and buy him a toy. The Hot Wheels, Laguna Seca Racer. Got... I know what a toy is. <laughs> toy my ass. We got a plane to catch. Toy store. Toy store. Toy store. <laughs> Get shop has toys. Would you shut up about the toys? I'm sitting on a runway with a kidnapped kid. What the hell was I doing? I pull it off, my kid grows up to be a man in a coma. I don't pull it off, I spend the rest of my life in prison in Detroit. Which is redundant. <laughs> Here's your glue and milk, sir. Thanks. So I got my boy back, but for what? Lighten up, Big T. Lighten up. Aaron's right. It is my fault. I should have left him with his grandparents. He'd be a different person. Hell, he'd still be a person. My God. Almost killed my son. You get sappy when you drink. Bar's closed. <laughs> a terrible father. No, you were the perfect father. Before I got him, I was a hard-drinking, pride-killing womanizer. Yeah, before. <laughs> I could never have been a responsible father. You know, having him made me a responsible father. That's enough. Stop it. He didn't need me. I needed him. Oh, that is enough. You can stay. Titus, 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 Titus! Hey, Titus! Hey, Titus! Get in there. The 
before they kill him. <laughs> Idiots! What are you doing? Dave broke the IV. That's not how you do it. Shut up, Dave. Tommy. Dave. Tommy. Dave. Tommy. Dave. Titus. Dave. Tommy. Dave. Tommy. Wait, wait, wait. Do that again. Uh, Tommy. Dave. Tommy. Dave. Oh, no! Dave. Boy! Oh, God, that. <laughs> <laughs> Son, I'm glad we made that plane. Here's the toy I promised you when you were five. We're even. Dad. Five? How long was I out? <laughs> and who's this dad? <laughs> There's about 10% truth to any part of this. Uh, and then... <laughs> I'm the funny one. No, I'm the funny one. No, I'm the funny one. I'm the funny one. Okay, fine.